In this video, we are going to see how we can enter the raw materials. If you're dealing with the manufacturing company, how we can create the raw material items. And then we will also see how we can create the bill of materials. But first, let's see how we can enter the raw materials data in QuickBooks. And here we have the inventory opening balances of all the raw materials. So let's quickly see how we can enter this. I'll go to the company section and click on items and services. And I'll go to item and click on new item. But when we click on new item, it will show you the type of service and non inventory part only. It's not showing the inventory part, but uh, we want the inventory part, right? So click cancel and go to the edit and preferences. Guys, make sure to close the window first and then go to the edit and preferences. And from here, I'll click on items and inventory, go to company preferences and turn on this option, which says inventory and purchase orders are active. Just check this and click OK. Now it will show you this message that QuickBooks must close all of its open windows to change this preference. Click OK. And then let's go to the home tab again. And now if I go to items and services and click on the new item, now we have the inventory part here. So let's start entering the inventory. But if you have lots of inventory, we can also use this option, right? Which says add or edit multiple items. Now, although you can add all the items, but if we go to customize columns, we can see that there is cost, but there is no opening balance field or on hand quantity field. So still, if you are entering the opening balances of inventory, you still need to enter it that manually. So that's why we are using the single item based method. So select the type. First item is cloth A and you can categorize it as raw material. Let's click OK and enable unit of measure. Now in this one, we can select single unit of measure, but the cloth unit of measure is meter. It's in length. And if you're not sure about the unit of measure of a particular item, you can check it from here in the bill of material section, which we will see later on. It's mentioned unit of measure with each particular item. So let's click next and select meter and click finish. Now let's copy and paste cloth A here. I'll also paste it to sales description and the cost is hundred. So let's place hundred here. Cost of goods sold is already selected sales account. Let's select the sales here. Sales price. We do not know sales price at this moment. So we will ignore this and on hand quantity is 8,000 units. So let's copy and paste this. So this makes the total to 800,000 as of 1st of January. All looks good. 800,000 here exactly entered and click next. Now the next item is cloth B. So let's copy and paste this category is raw material already created meter. Let's copy and paste the same name in the purchase description and the sales description. Cost is 150. Cost of goods sold account is selected. Sales or income account is sales. On hand quantity. We have the on hand quantity here. Let's copy and paste this. So this is 1 million, 10, 50, 000. So it matches with the assignment and the opening date is as of 1st of January. Click next. Next is Bookram. Category is raw material. Unit of my year is meter. Copy and paste this in the sales description and the purchase description. All selected. Just enter the on hand quantity and the cost, which is 10. So 150,000 is the total. As of 1st of January, click next and add. Next, we have thread. For thread, the unit of my year is cone. So thread, raw materials, meters. Copy and paste in the sales and purchase description. Cost is 10 all accounts selected. Just enter the on hand quantity, which is 10,000. This makes the total to 100,000 as of 1st of January. Click next. Now you can stop at this point and do it by yourself because this is just a repetition and all will be entered in the same way. So let's just quickly go through it. Zips. Next one is raw material and zips unit of my year is each count. I'll select each finish and copy and paste here. Cost is 15 and our on hand quantity is 7,500. This makes the total to 112,500. So this is as of 1st of January. 
2024. Click next. Next we have button shirts, category raw material. Item is each. So let's select unit over here each. Paste it in this fields. Quantity is 30,000 and rate is one. So total value is 30,000 here, 30,000 here. And 1st of January, 2024, let's click next. And the last one we have is button pants, raw material. It's each copy and paste here. Cost is five and units is 5,000. So this makes the total to 25,000 as of 1st of January, 2024. So let's click next and click OK. So all of these inventory items are now entered. But if I want to customize these fields, you can see that we can only see the total quantity here. If you want to see the cost as well or other fields, just right click on any column and click on customize columns. Now here you can remove all the fields you don't want. For example, price, this is sales price. Uh, unit of my year, I want unit of my year on sales order. Let's say I don't want this total quantity. I want that and type. Okay. And let's see, add the cost here and let's actually move that up just after the quantity on hand. So, okay. And now I can see the total quantity and the cost here. So guys, this is how you can enter the raw materials in the manufacturing company assignment. And also you can customize the fields in this way. So just enter all the data until this point and I'll see you in the next one.